Yo guys, Code Life here. So in today's video guys, I wanted to quickly show you all how to get my wallpaper on your PC at home. That's right guys, after countless and countless amounts of comments from you guys asking me what my animated wallpaper is and how do you get it, I thought I'd finally take this Sunday while working on some other videos. I thought I would quickly take the time to explain exactly what it is and as well show you guys exactly how to set it all up. So yeah, by the end of watching this video today, your wallpaper will go from looking like this. As you can see, it's a super boring default Windows background. Instead of that though, it will go to look like this or this on screen. As you can see from the both of them, they look absolutely incredible. One is this unreal blue looking orangey spacey thingy and then it's the same with the other one but that one's more sort of purple and pink. So yeah, that's a bonus background guys but whichever of these two you decide to use they're both amazing and you'll absolutely love them. By the way guys, I'm not sure exactly what the name of these sort of backgrounds are. I don't know if it's space, I don't know if it's water, abyss or anything like that. Literally, I just found that comment from one of you guys in the comment section and I thought, you know what it is? That comment right there perfectly represents what these are. Moving on though guys, let's jump straight into today's video. Okay guys, so to firstly start off, I want to mention straight away that to get your hands on either one of these two wallpapers, you all need to own some software on Steam called Wallpaper Engine. Yes, this software does cost, but guys, do not worry as it isn't that much. In the UK guys, it's £3, and to be fair, that isn't a lot at all, as all you're really paying for here guys is the Wallpaper Engine itself, and then all the wallpapers, like these two that I mentioned in this video today, and the rest of them, they're all completely free. In my opinion guys, it's so worth it, as I myself, I've been using this software for two years straight, and so far I've had so much fun just checking out some different wallpapers, trying a few out, and seeing which one looks the best on my desktop. You can't fault it at all, all of this guys, for literally £3, it's honestly a steal. And no, this isn't sponsored, this is just my opinions. But yeah guys, once you have gone ahead and bought it, and as well as obviously installed it too, you guys want to go ahead and boot the software up. Once you are in the software itself, you want to search for the specific wallpaper, which to do this, you want to simply click on that little workshop tab at the top there, and then inside that guys, you want to type in the following. You want to type in T001. I know it's a little bit of an odd name, but as soon as you type that in, guys, boom, you should see these spacey looking wallpapers. As you can see, guys, there's four in total, but the two best ones, in my opinion, are these two right here on the left hand side. They both look amazing. They both are amazing, and guys, you all need to try them out on your desktops at home. I myself, I've got them on free monitors, it looks incredible, and I couldn't recommend them more. To get them guys, it's literally as simple as literally double clicking on them, and they'll load straight up on your desktop. It's really that simple. I do hope this video helped you out. If it did, feel free to drop a like on it, as that would help me out a ton. But yeah guys, before I do end this video, I do just want to quickly mention one more thing, and that is about the performance of this app slash software. I know most of you that watch my channel are gamers, you either play Fortnite, Valorant, CSGO or whatever, and guys, you may be concerned about the performance of this app. You may be thinking, will this lag my game? if it is sort of in use while I am playing. To answer that simply, guys, no it won't be, and I've got two different reasons for why it won't affect your FPS at all. The very first reason is the fact that the engine itself is designed to use as few system resources as possible. In fact, guys, it's that low that literally Google Chrome uses more resources than this, which is insane. And then for the second reason for why you should not be worried about getting less performance in-game while using this app, that reason, guys, is the fact that the wallpaper engine will actually automatically pause itself when it does detect you're either in a game or in a high intensive program. So yeah, because of that reason right there, as well as the first one guys, that pretty much guarantees that you will not lose any performance while gaming, while editing, or while doing anything else that's intensive on your PC. Trust me guys, this application is ahead of the game and it's definitely the best wallpaper one out there. But yeah guys, that is all I've got for today's video. I really do hope you enjoy and I really do hope you enjoy these backgrounds. I myself do, but I'd love to what you all think of them in the comment section below that's all from me though guys thanks for watching hope you all have a great day peace